Hi, this is Bill Lackey from Vision Church at Christian International. And part of my responsibility as I'm a staff member is to train up teams that go to all over the world and begin to minister prophetically and release the word of the Lord. Today, what I would like to share with you is what I felt God was giving me for the year 2021. And for 2021, it's real necessary. And so I went into a great deal of detail. The word of the Lord I've prepared can be gotten from uh, Christian International. They have a copy of it and they can send it to you or connect you to where you can read it. But the overarching purpose of the word for 2021 is a major shift in authority. And I'm using a scripture to support that and to begin to show you why God is asking for this shift in your authority. It's very easy for most people who go to church, they come in, they might sing a few songs and participate in worship. They take the offering and they participate in that. And then they sit in the congregation. So I call them pewsters and not doosters. And so this year, God is putting behind you organization, things around you to shove you, maybe even to the places you're not comfortable so that you can stand up and begin to step into your destiny and begin to reveal God's purpose this year. So the scripture verse that I want to start with is a scripture that uh, is uh, in Isaiah 45, 11. And it's all about God and his work with the Israelites. And it says, Thus saith the Lord, the Holy One of Israel, and his Maker, ask me of things to come concerning my sons, and concerning of the work of my hands. Command ye me. Now, I realized that when I started the ministry, and instead of being someone who just went to the local church, I was someone who was called out into leadership, leaving the pew and going to the platform or to other places of leadership was one of the hardest transitions in my life because I was used to other people doing it. I was used to other people getting the revelation. I was uh, used to seeing other people reaching out and establishing that word. Well, here's the main point about command ye me. First of all, some of you are going to think, oh, that's disrespectful. I cannot command God. And then you're going to think like this. Well, if I command him, I step into a rebellious spirit. Well, that's not right. And you don't have to do that. But the very fact that he has called us joint heirs and that we are alongside him, we are to do everything he did and greater works than those. So in order to step in to the release for your life for 2021, you need to step into what I call a proactive position. It is not an aggressive position. It doesn't have to be loud. It doesn't have to be rude. But you are standing literally on the promises that the Lord has given you. So today, I want to tell you, those of you who are listening to me, that if you will step into that place of proactiveness and speak to God and say, I see what you're doing. I see where I belong. And I'm going to declare Job 22, 28. If you declare a thing, it shall happen and the light of God shall shine upon your way. Now I have two other points very quickly. One of them is we need to keep the promises that God has made to us and the promises that we have made to him. He is a promise keeper. And then the third thing I want to talk to you about is miracles. And I genuinely believe that the reason we don't see more miracles is that people are not proactive. They're concerned and they're worried about what if the miracle doesn't happen. Well, John Wimmer er, many years ago started in a healing movement that was very unbelievable. Lots of people being healed. And I want to say that a movement stronger than that in the area of healing, we're going to see people that are in long-term diseases completely 
healed. We're also going to see people who are in the hospital and on death row come up, come alive and go back to where they came from and have a very fruitful life. So I'm saying to you, command ye me, meaning you are a brother, you're a sister. We are joint heirs with Jesus Christ. Speak to it because he then knows you're certain. He knows you're willing to lead it and to step out in it. So in Jesus name, I bless all of you that are out there. And for 2021, I say that we have won in 2021. I'm telling you, if God is calling us to step up to a leadership position with him, that's winning. That's winning. Before we do anything, we are called to a position of joint heirs and mighty ones to fulfill his purposes and even greater than that. So God bless all of you as we say goodbye.